Hi guys and welcome to our latest behind the scenes of our pro tutorial Instagrammer. So for this week's pro tutorial, our idea was actually to just showcase a really cool Instagrammer and also showcase him at work, basically meaning taking a photo for his Instagram. But the idea wasn't to just show him while he's taking a photo, we actually wanted to take it a level further and show a person that is taking a photo from the Instagrammer while he's actually taking a photo of a sunrise shot. So again, we can't literally do that all by once, so we did it again in sequences. First shot outside on the mountain, and the second shot obviously in studio, just with the hand. But that was kind of the main idea, taking a portrait of an Instagrammer and seeing all of that on another phone. Now again, we also worked with the lorry. He is a Cape Townian uh, Instagrammer, takes a lot of Instagram photos for uh, people or from people, and as well sunrise and sunset shots. So he's kind of the right person for this project as well. Our idea was also to get out really early in the morning. So we headed up Lion's Head and it's a mountain here in Cape Town and close to Lion's Head is also a little area where there's a little bit of a forest and you're high enough to literally see the sunrise. So we headed out really, really early. It's like five, almost six o'clock before the sunrise was at seven o'clock. So literally we had a gap of an hour time to set up beforehand and also get the light right and everything and just adjust a few things yeah, and get ready before the sunrise or the sun would come up already. A reason for that is so that I would be prepared and I had my shot, I was happy with the composition, I was happy with the whole scenery and I knew exactly, okay, the sun is going to come up there, there's my subject, I've got everything ready and once the sun is up I can just work with my subject and I don't need to worry about anything else. Camera settings wise, I'm shooting with the Nikon but a Canon also works perfectly fine. Our idea was again to just shoot so that we have kind of a wide perspective. Not too wide, so we didn't want to go with a 14-24, rather again something 24 to 70 in that perspective and that range. Then as well, I've also used an f-stop of f10 again, so it's compensating first of all because of the light that's coming from the front, the sunlight, so dimming everything down a little bit, but also have pretty much a lot of sharpness and syncing with the extra flashes, because we're working again with three lights and all are pretty hard with power. So f10 for this reason, then as well 1 over 1 25th of a second, again I could have done this a little bit quicker, again 1 over 1 60th of a shutter speed, that would also be pretty good. You will have to play a little bit with that once you do this project. Then as well also I've used an ISO of 200, so again I didn't want to shoot just with 100, it was not too much light. But I wanted to pop and push the highlights a little bit, so shooting around 200 again of an ISO. Lightning wise this time we also worked again with our two rangers, our Quadra rangers, the small one from Allenchrom, around medium power, actually a little bit of power, say around 100 watts, so they weren't too strong and just filling up the lights or the subject actually a little bit. But obviously we also had a third light, an ambient light, basically meaning the sun coming from the front with really, really hard light. So again, F10 for that, but also in compensating our two flashes for that. So the sun was coming from the front, giving a really, really nice yellow rim light. And it was just a yellow light, a comp completely yellow light, as you guys can see also. And then we just used a beauty dish again from the left hand side with a grid in there as well, a honeycomb. That was powered up a little bit stronger, like just half a tick, half a stop uh, stronger, just to boost the lights in his face as well a little bit. And then also placing it not too high again. I had Desmond again holding it. So it was a little bit easier also that day. We had the assistant so he can hold the light. I don't need to set up another stand in case there is wind or something. So with the assistant it is also a little bit easier. 
That is what we actually should have taken with some stands because on the other side we had again another flash but this time also just a little quadra strobe just with a little bit of diffusing material in there. It's like that little plastic um, sheet that goes over it and that we had from the back just giving him a really nice light on the back and on his complete right side for a little bit of room light. But you can't literally see that because he's sitting in that kind of position. So the main idea was just to light him up from the back. Front light, some nice uh, key light also with the beauty dish and then obviously getting a really nice rim light from the sunlight. Modeling wise I didn't really have the feeling of booking a professional model. For me it was more important to showcase a real Instagrammer who's really out there taking again a lot of nature shots, sunrise shots, a real Instagrammer. So we worked again with the Lori, he does take a lot of portraits now, but he did a whole series, a whole year, every day a series on sunrise shots. So for me he was the perfect guy to do a portrait series of a nature Instagrammer. Props and outfit was actually this time a little bit easier. So our main idea was just to have a person obviously withholding a phone and the Instagrammer with his phone. So we just needed two iPhones, either iPhone 4 or iPhone 5 and as well a lady who would hold this. So again afterwards in studio we had a lady a assistant of ours who would just hold the phone and she had actually beautiful hands, good fingers so we can take a portrait of that as well. So that we needed a lady with good fingers then as well two phones and obviously outfit wise this time for the Instagrammer yeah I didn't really had a specific brief. He should have just closed or, or dressed really nicely and kind of maybe just wear a hat as well, sunglasses, like kind of a guy who's actually going out and being out for the next few hours. So it's not just rocking up, taking a photo. He's kind of preparing to go on a mission for a longer while. And one more thing that I actually had told him was to bring a jacket with that's a little bit reflective. So the light would pop really nicely on it and as well the rim light just stands out really nicely. Instead of a dark cotton or something that just absorbs all the light. So something that would reflect a little bit. For some tips this time what I can give you on your way with is maybe just have pre-prepared, have a black and a white iPhone because on different shots the iPhones pop again. Then as well be also prepared if there would be wind or something so that you either take stand with, with some sandbags so can, somebody can hold that. Yeah and then also the idea was to just do it obviously outside so again have a look if you need a permit or something for that area otherwise nothing big. And also come up be super early before sunrise is so you can actually prepare with your lights and be ready before the sun comes up. Yeah, and then also again for the post-production side, again as you guys saw earlier in the video, first of all again shooting everything outside, then as well in studio or even at home, wherever it suits you. And then obviously comping both of these shots together, first of all just bringing everything to one image together and then also adding color and all the other extra adjustments so that it all looks real and comes together as one good plate. Yeah, and we also combined all of that for you as a new pro tutorial on our website which isn't up yet but in the future it will be and you guys can also subscribe to our newsletter so long so you can stay updated for that. Yeah, and that's basically all for our behind the scenes so far about our latest pro tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoy these episodes. Please also do let us know via the thumbs up if you enjoy these. Yeah, share them with your friends. Subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you guys all on Friday where we have a more in-depth light talk about this pro tutorial. Thank you guys and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.